It's your city, Michael, for Screen Review, bringing you my 488 podcast. That's just my 488 podcast. Like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly, in case you don't understand me. Also, I try to do my best not to beat your heart during this audio podcast recording, not to cause any audio feedback as well. And finally, if you're under 18, this audio podcast recording will change your adult language. Once again, if you're under 18, this audio podcast be co- be co- this audio uh, this audio podcast will change your adult language if you're under 18. Now, if you're over 18, that means you got to watch this audio podcast. So anyway, so anyway, with this and everything else out the way, let's get into the lady, let's get into the topic of this of this uh, of this podcast. Now, as you know, the, the latest Star Trek series being Star Trek Policy, which is a kind of, which is still like a sequel to Star Trek Voyager. Now, as you know that, that as you know that Nickelodeon, that the series has been aired on Nickelodeon, on Nick, or, on the Nick channel and whatnot, on the Nickelodeon channel. So anyway, so basically, this is the topic here. I believe that you know. I believe that, as you know, Nickelodeon, you know, has you know, Nickelodeon is part of Paramount Plus. So basically, you know, you know, you know that you know every show that comes on Nickelodeon, you know, goes straight to Paramount Plus. Now, now, ever since this series started, it's been. It, this thing has been having a little hiccup ever since it started airing on Nickelodeon. So basically, it took a a long hiatus. You know, no, no nobody knew what it. See, Nickelodeon has been doing a kind of terrible job with the series. Not very really long <laughs> with the series. No, pretty. And I know it comes on on. So basically, doing a terrible job with the Star Trek series. Now, as you know, all all the latest Star Trek series are only streaming on on Paramount Plus. So, so the idea of this podcast is that you know, I believe that Star Trek policy should be on <laughs> should be on you know should be or should be streaming on only on the Paramount. Plus streaming service instead of instead of not instead of streaming on Nickelodeon because for for a couple of weeks one one we don't have to worry about any more delays <laughs> delays so basically it's taking way too long to, to this you know for or for us to you know it's taking way too long. To, it took a long hiatus with this first season. So basically, it stopped around like episode eight, I believe, or was it ten? Around episode eight, it took a it took a long hiatus around episode eight. So basically, it took a it took a long hiatus, and we and the creator didn't really try to inform us when the series was going to come back. Back on for his hiatus. Usually, when a show takes that hiatus, the network phones the viewers that when the show is coming back. So basically, we didn't have any Nickelodeon did bother to really do, did that in time when they start when Star Trek policy was on its hiatus. It did not it phoned for viewers when the show was coming back from its long hiatus. And plus, <laughs> plus, uh, plus uh, another reason why Star Trek policy should be, uh, uh, should be on, be on, should only air on the studios because there'll be no more delays in episodes. There will, there will be no uh, and no and no hiatus. So you know. <laughs> I know that you know a lot of people. A lot of people put down streaming service, but you know these these having shows on streaming service. There is a lot of good having a show like this on the streaming service. We don't have to worry about any hiatus or any long hiatus breaks and whatnot. And plus, the streaming service will do. Will do better promoting the show. <laughs> will be doing better promoting the show. Now, the other reason why is 
it's mainly just, it's that, you know, I feel like, I feel like the, that Star Trek Prodigy is a good show, I just feel like, I just feel like the Steven Jones will do better by it than, than Nickelodeon, because honestly, they're already taking too long to finish this first season. We don't know how many, I got it, I, it's just, it's, you know, they're taking this time with the series, don't get me wrong, but at the same time, you know, I feel like, you know, it's, you know, we need to really, you know, really, you know, really dictate how much time that this series needs to finish its first season. Come on. Come on. This is not back in the old days in Star Trek. When the, you know, back in the old days of Star Trek. Usually, uh, every Star Trek series nowadays is uh, it's like 10 episodes at the most. So, at the most, uh, at the most, depends on what type of series it is. But anyway, I just feel like, you know, that Star Trek party is a good show, you know, but I feel like it will benefit more only on, only airing on the streaming service instead of airing on Nickelodeon. So basically, I hope that after this first season, whatever it ends, it's first season, and yes, Star Trek Prodigy is still on its first season. So basically, when this series does, it, you know, it does finish, you know, its first season, I hope that Paramount will realize that, you know, that realize that Star Trek Prodigy should be, you know, will think, will rethink airing Star Trek Prodigy on Nickelodeon. So basically, I know that Nickelodeon Studios, it, you know, it's, you know, it's also a producer behind it, but, you know, I feel like, you know, I feel like this is, this, this is a good Star Trek show, but I feel like, you know, I feel like Nickelodeon should not have any part with this and basically let the, and let the people at Paramount Plus take it over and, and let it air only on, on, you know, only on Paramount Plus streaming service. So anyway, this is just the reason why I, I do like the Star Trek policy. It has, it, this show, it has good potential, but I just still feel like, you know, having it air on Nickelodeon is, is not a good idea. It, you know, the way how Nickelodeon shows, or, you know, the way how Nickelodeon is treating the shows now, I just don't feel like, you know, I don't feel like, you know, that Nickelodeon is a perfect fit for the show to be, or to the show to air on Nickelodeon. I just feel like the show should only air on Paramount Plus. I know, yes, 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 once that episode air, it goes to Paramount Plus. So basically, you know, you know, any new episode is on Nickelodeon also it also goes to Paramount Plus. So basically, I feel like you know this show should be only should be with the rest of the other Star Trek shows and air only on the streaming service. So anyway, you know it's a good show. So basically, you know you know Star Trek Party is a good show. It has it, it, it has good potential. You know it has some good characters. I just feel like you know the streaming service will do better than the than the than the Nickelodeon channel to make sure that this show will will be will be sorry I'm punk on it. So basically I just feel like you know that Paramount Plus will will be a better option for the show to be to be a, a, a to be accessible than having it air on Nickelodeon. So basically, I feel like, you know, the show will be more, more perfect, you know, will be more successful on, only on the student service than, than the Nickelodeon channel. So anyway, what do you guys think? Should, should Star Trek Party only air on the Paramount, on the Paramount Plus TV service? Or, yes or no? Please let me know what the comments below. Anyway, sign off. One.